Hello everyone. Welcome to the webinar series on IoT. My name is Akhil Sharawat. I am an executive trainer with FICE Education. Today's webinar is on serial communication protocol. Today we'll discuss basics of serial communication, difference between serial communication and parallel communication, examples of serial communication, UART protocol, UART interfaces supported by Intel Galileo, UART based module supported by Intel Galileo. Before discussing further, what is communication? Communication is a process of transmitting the data from the transmitter to the receiver across a channel. This data transmission can be serially or parallelly. Basics of Serial Communication What is Serial Communication? Serial communication is a process of sending data one bit at a time, sequentially, over a communication channel or computer bus. By this, we mean that in serial communication, data bits are sent sequentially, one bit at a time. To illustrate this, here is an example. To illustrate this, we have an example of a data stream which we need to transfer serially using serial interface. Here, the data is to be transmitted from MSB to the LSB. If a new bit is transmitted, then the previous bit is shifted and the output will be this. Here, what happens is, when the new bit arises, then the previous bit is shifted and we get the complete output. That is a serial bit stream. Difference between serial communication and parallel communication. The difference between serial and parallel communication is done on the basis of few factors. These factors are data transmission. By this we mean how the data is transmitted in serial and parallel communication. Start and stop bit. Which of the both that is serial and parallel communication requires a start bit and a stop bit in their data frames for transmission of data. Data transmission speed, how fast the data should be transmitted using serial communication and parallel communication. Cost, which of the system that is serial communication or parallel communication is cost effective. First, data transmission. In serial communication, single byte is transmitted at a time, while in parallel communication, multiple bytes are transmitted at a time. Start and stop bits. The serial communication uses start and stop bit for transmission of data while parallel communication does not require any start or stop bits. Data transmission speed. The data transmission speed in serial communication is slow while the data transmission speed in parallel communication is fast. This is because the serial communication transmits each bit at a time while in parallel communication all the bits are transmitted at the same time. Cost. The cost of setup is low in serial communication while the cost of setup is high in parallel communication. Example of serial communication and parallel communication. The table shown below distinguishes the three different serial communication protocols that are UART, Universal Asynchronous Receiver and Transmitter, SPI, Serial Peripheral Interface and I2C, Inter-Integrated Circuit. Now the difference in all the protocols is as follows. UART is an asynchronous interface, SPI is a synchronous interface, I2C is also a synchronous interface. UART is point-to-point -point full duplex interface, SPI is a 4-wire full duplex serial interface. By 4-wire, we mean that it uses 4 different wires while communication. SCLK, which is a clock, MOSI, master out slave in, MISO, master in slave out and SS, slave select. The SPI uses master and a slave while communication. So, it requires MOSI, master out slave in, when it is transmitting data from master to the slave, MISO, when it is transmitting the data 
from slave to the master ss slave select which means that master chooses to which slave it needs to perform the communication while i2c is a two wire half duplex serial interface by two wires we mean that it uses a clock scl and sda which is the data the data rate through the uart is between 0.3 kbps to 1 mbps while in spi as a multi master or slave protocol communication between master and selected slave use the unidirectional master in slave out and master out slave line to achieve data rate to 1 mbps by this we mean that in spi protocol to achieve a data rate of 1 mbps v uses unidirectional master in slave out and master out slave line to perform the communication between the master and the slave in i2c we have three different speeds slow fast and high in slow speed the data rate is less than 100 kbps in fast speeds the data is around 400 kbps while in high speed it is 3.4 mbps UART is mostly used in communication between the external devices by this we mean that when our system wants to communicate through external devices we generally prefer UART while SPI is used in communication for relatively short distances I2C we generally use I2C for onboard communications but when we require an offboard communication then practically the limit of i2c is up to 10 feet this is because of the speed of transmission generally we can extend our i2c communication up to 50 feet but the transmission speed up to 50 feet but the transmission speed will reduce uart uses hardware overheads like start bit stop bit parity bit in each frame of transmission while spi does not require any overheads but it uses four different clock types based on polarity and phase of clock signal while i2c has a unique feature called clock stretching this clock stretching feature is used when our slave device is unable to process the bit and it requires more time for communication uart protocol uart is used for serial communication over peripheral device serial port by this we mean that if any peripheral device needs to communicate through a serial port it uses a uart uart has a transmitter baud rate generator and a receiver the bits are transmitted at data frame by this we mean that when the transmitter is transmitting the data it always transmits the data in a data frame format uart uses different baud rates to communicate there are different baud rates at which the uart works but the baud rate of the receiver and the transmitter should always be same uart block this is a uart block which contains a transmitter a receiver and a baud rate generator uart transmitter is responsible for transmitting the data in a data frame format while the receiver receives the transmitted data baud rate generator it is an important part in a uart as it maintains the synchronization between the receiver and the transmitter because both the receiver and transmitter are working on two different clocks uart transmitter uart transmitter is responsible for transmitting the data in a data frame format this is a data frame which has a start bit a stop bit start bit is used to indicate that the transmitter is ready to transmit the data while the stop bit indicates that the data stream is completely transmitted parity bit 
parity bit is an optional bit. But when the data stream that is sent should be distinguished whether it is an address or a data, then the parity bit is used. In between the start bit and the parity bit, the data is transmitted. Here, the data is of an 8 bit UART baud rate generator. The baud rate generator is a very important part in a UART. Baud rate generator provides the agreement of timing parameter at which the communication has to take place. By this, we mean that baud rate generator maintains all the timing parameters, all the synchronization between the transmitter and the receiver for the data to be transmitted. Baud rate generator is a type of a frequency divider. During the communication, the transmitter and receiver should be operating at the same baud rate. Generally, the receiver clock is made 16 times faster than the transmitter clock. This is done to achieve an error-free, less delay and low power dissipations. So all this is maintained by the baud rate generator in a UART. Now, UART interface is supported by Intel Galileo. Intel Galileo has inbuilt UARTs that are present on the digital pin side. Digital pin D0, D1 and D2, D3 act as the UART in a Intel Galileo. D0 will act as a receiver, D2 will act as a transmitter and D3 will act as a receiver. Along with these two UARTs, there is one more UART present on Intel Galileo that is at the USB client side. When we are not using the UART on the digital pin side and we want to display something on our serial monitor, then USB client UART is used. Accessing UART using Arduino. The Arduino API provides different functions for accessing on-board UARTs of Intel Galileo. By this, we mean that Arduino has provided different libraries by using which we can access the UART present on the Intel Galileo. To access the UART, there are different functions available. For accessing Digital pin D0 and D1 side UART, we use serial 1. For accessing digital pin D2 and D3, we use serial 2. These UARTs are used when different shields are interfaced with Intel Galileo. By this, we mean that different shields when interfaced with the Galileo uses the UART. To access the UART, they use either Serial 1 or Serial 2. UART base module supported by Intel Galileo. Here, we'll discuss about the different UART base modules that we can interface with our Intel Galileo. Here is a table showing module name, hardware serial or software serial. Hardware serial are the hardware ports that is serial 1 and serial 2 that we can access or software serial which means that we can design our own UART using the Arduino library support whether this particular module requires a library support or not few real world applications of that particular module first is a Zigbee S2 module W oblique Arduino wireless proto shield it uses hardware serial, it requires a library support, and it is used in home automation systems. Adafruit Ultimate GPS Logger Shield. It uses hardware serial, it also requires a library support. In live tracking system, this shield is used. Shield Studio Bluetooth Shield version 1.1. It uses hardware serial. No library support is required for the shield. And Bluetooth control home robots 
uses the shield Arduino GSM shield it requires hardware serial it needs a library support GSM control lights are available which use this shield moving further we have spark fun blue SM IRF silver that's a Bluetooth modem it uses hardware serial it requires a library support and autonomous navigation rover use this shield Zigbee S1 module W oblique Arduino wireless shield it uses hardware serial it doesn't require any library support in home automation systems we can use the shield ITEAD Bluetooth shield master or a slave it uses hardware serial it requires a library support Bluetooth controlled office lights uses this shield red beer labs Nordic BLE shield it uses software serial it needs a library support in office automations we use the shield ITEAD Bluetooth shield but slave uses hardware serial requires a library support Bluetooth controlled balancing robots use the shield Simcom quad band mobile sim 900 Arduino pack it is a shield which requires both hardware and software serial it needs a library support autonomous navigation rovers uses this shield these are few links that you can refer along with these shields that I have discussed earlier you can see different shields that can be supported by Intel Galileo Gen 2 board you can also contact us at foundation for innovation and collaboration education you can mail us on info at fice.in or mentor at fice.in you can also send us your feedback and reviews on mentor at fice.in you can also log in to www.fice.in thank you